Have you served God today by speaking in other tongues? Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, we worship you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We thank you that you are God in the earth today and you are here right now. I ask that you open people's ears that they may hear what the Spirit is saying to them, that they may go forth and be strong in the earth in the power of your spirit in jesus name amen romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love god to them that are called according to his purpose have you ever heard this before yes. have you ever heard christians say this before all things work together for good cancer works together for good poverty works together for good god had a reason for that heart attack I've heard this preached from the pulpit all things work together for good well how many of you know that that's just not true a lot of these things are working together well to kill you <laughs> to kill steal and destroy so the devil's not working for God that would be a problem wouldn't it theologically now we got the devil doing God's work that's not what this verse of Scripture is talking about at all so let's look up at verse 26 likewise the Spirit say the Spirit, the Spirit. who would this be this will be the Holy Ghost. Likewise, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit, helps our infirmities or weaknesses, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit and Himself would be a better translation than itself. We know that the Holy Ghost is not an it. The Holy Ghost is a Him. But the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered, and meaning cannot be uttered in your regular language and he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit say the mind of the Spirit, the mind of the Spirit. now the mind of the Spirit would be what the Holy Ghost is wanting what he's thinking mm -hmm. say what the Holy Ghost, the Holy is, Ghost. Is, thinking. is thinking or what the Holy Ghost is wanting because he makes intercession for the Saints according to the will of God God who god the holy ghost so he's he's making intercession for you when you're speaking in these other tongues according to what his will Amen. well who does the speaking you do the speaking you do the speaking in other tongues if you don't do the speaking in other tongues then he can't be making or the intercession or the helping say helping right to have his will done in your life now if you are doing the speaking in other tongues then he is able to intercede or help or bring to pass his will or his thoughts in your life are you seeing this verse 28 and we know are you there now so and we know all things work together for us according to what according to his will according to his purpose so when is the thing when are the things all working together for you according to his will according to his purpose when you're speaking in other tongues now I can't overemphasize the importance of speaking in other tongues but if you aren't speaking in other tongues then you're not enabling the Holy Ghost to do what his will is when you're helping somebody with their will what are you doing you're serving them are you here so you're literally serving the purpose did you see that according to his will according to his purpose whose purpose the Holy Ghost having things work together for his purpose that's called serving God have you served God today by speaking in other tongues now you gotta you gotta understand what happened on the day of Pentecost they began to speak with other tongues why would that be the first thing that the Holy Ghost the first outward manifestation of the Holy Ghost was them beginning to speak in these strange languages a language beyond their natural normal language it's because the Holy Ghost is now beginning to establish his will in the earth they became servants of the Holy Ghost are you here so all things working together say work together, work 
what does it mean when you work together with somebody you're doing the same thing you're serving them you're helping them out he's helping you but you're helping him he's helping you likewise the Spirit helps our infirmities or our weaknesses for we know not what we should pray as we ought but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered with irregular language he that searches the heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the Saints according to the will of God or according to his will and we know that all things work together have you ever been there before knowing that everything's working together for you I tell you even the birds sound differently when you're in the perfect will of God they do I don't know if you've been I've been there a couple times in my life where all of a sudden I'm listening remember Jesus talked about it he said consider the birds of the air consider the fowls of the air and you're like well why there's something going on there and when you're in the perfect will of God things look different things sound differently because you're touching on something that most people aren't how do you get there according to this verse of scripture there's only one way to get to the perfect will of God where all things are working together how do we get there praying in other tongues serving the Spirit of God we serve the gift now, I don't probably I might get into this a little bit but the gift is who who's the gift the Holy Ghost is the gift who do we serve in the earth the Holy Ghost right who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost who do you serve the Holy Ghost well he comes in the form of the gift and that gift is the outward manifestation of speaking in other tongues so we serve at the discretion of the gift if you're not serving the gift if you're not serving at the discretion of the gift as the Spirit gives utterance then you're not serving him are you getting this I can't overemphasize the importance of speaking in tongues why because you're serving the Holy Ghost you're serving the gift you ever heard that served at the discretion of lots of times will be I serve at the discretion of the king I just serve at the discretion of my employer or whatever you're serving whoever you're serving you're doing it at their discretion well we speak as he gives us utterance let's look over there Acts chapter 2 this is the Holy Ghost coming into the earth the beginning of the new dispensation where he is the only God in the earth today he's the one that Jesus sent this is the instance of it are you here Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them clothes and tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each each all every it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began they began yeah. to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance this is the beginning this is the pattern this is how the Holy Ghost chose to come into the earth and in the beginning of his manifestation was him speaking through them right yeah. they spoke as he gave them utterance that's the way it continues to this day when you receive the Holy Ghost it's the initial evidence it's the first outward sign it's the initial evidence given to every man how many was it given to every one of them or it would have said that except for Timothy and Joanna no now the gift of speaking in tongues is not the Holy Ghost but it is a manifestation that you yield to when you receive the Holy Ghost they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance they were all filled let's lo look over at Acts 10 let's we'll see if this was just a one-time instance do you think it was a one-time instance that was just the first time that was it let's look over at Acts chapter 10 and verse 44 and while Peter yet spake these words he was preaching to them the Holy Ghost say the Holy Ghost fell on them all which heard the word and they of the circumcision which believed were astonished as many as came 
with Peter because that on the Gentiles was also poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost how did they know because they quivered because they glowed no how did they know for they heard them speak with other tongues and magnify God how many of them were filled all of them are you getting any of this look what it says I'll just point this out before we move on Acts uh, chapter 10 verse 45 says and they of the circumcision which believe were astonished as many as came with Peter because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift what's the gift the gift is the Holy Ghost the gift is them but the evidence of receiving the Holy Ghost is speaking with other tongues say the evidence, the evidence. of receiving, of receiving. The, Holy the Holy Ghost is speaking, is speaking. With, other with other tongues so if I'm gonna serve the gift or I'm gonna serve at the discretion of the Holy Ghost or the discretion of the gift what am I gonna be doing speaking with other tongues first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man each one well wait a second it goes on later in this chapter it talks about the various gifts of the Spirit but here it says the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man what could that possibly be talking about tongues speaking in other tongues now speaking in tongues is the vehicle for every other gift it's the vehicle that all the other gifts ride on right come rides into your life on that other gift all comes from the same place why would it come from the same place because they're all gifts of the Holy Ghost and if he gives us all the ability to speak with other tongues then all of the other gifts come from that same place the gift of the Holy Ghost according to his will according to his purpose that was by what should we go back there Romans chapter 8 how did how do we get there well that's the only way to get there it you can't have for we know that all things are working together for us without the him interceding for us as we speak are you getting this speaking in tongues is the vehicle in which every other again I don't know if you've known this before but when you're speaking in tongues other gifts will come to you when you're not speaking in tongues it kind of diminishes why because it's like the vehicle that it rides in on it comes in on that bus it comes in on that train the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all well there's only one manifestation of the Spirit given to every man that we have scripture for so if you're faithful here if you're faithful in the little thing God makes you ruler over much what did James call the little thing the tongue is a little member right so you have to be faithful in the gift that God gives you so he can increase it so he can develop those things I hope I'm getting this across <clears throat> how many times have I said you should probably be praying in tongues about an hour a day and what I found is if I start my day off right and I'll spend some time in the morning the time that I need to speaking in other tongues then the rest of the day seems to go a lot better and I'll just find myself praying in tongues while I'm doing other things that I need to do I'm not even putting effort into it anymore. I'm just kind of got the flow going an hour a day well, well yeah but you're a preacher yeah, that's way you should do it an hour a day well no preachers should be doing it more than an hour a day well it depends if what I'm saying is true which I believe it to be do you want all things working together for good for you what's the only way to get there according to the scriptures by speaking according to his will by yielding to those verbal things that he's giving to you to enunciate them out how what are you doing when you're doing that you're serving the Holy Ghost you're walking with the Holy Ghost by speaking thank God I mean we can speak the scriptures we should do that but we have the ability to even bypass our own mind and just speak in his will in his words according to his plan Amen. at 
his discretion Amen. that's what Romans 8 is talking about if you want to get there if you want to get to the perfect will of God I'll just say that if you want to get to the perfect will of God you're gonna to have to pray the price you're gonna and where are you gonna get it you can't even say the perfect will of God in your natural language that's why he said we gotta we gotta talk in these words that go beyond what we understand your understanding of chapter and verse only goes so deep how many of you know that and the more you worship the Holy Ghost the deeper it goes it's unending first Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 18 this is Paul speaking to the Corinthians I thank my God who would he be thanking the Holy Ghost that I speak with tongues more than you all that's a lot well Paul yeah but look what Paul was able to do was Paul able to walk in the perfect will of God Paul was able to write many books of the Bible wouldn't we call that the perfect will of God how did he get there there's only one way and that was through this vehicle of speaking in other tongues why would that be because that's the way the Holy Ghost chose whether you like it or not well, I don't like it that way tough who are you to make up the rules you didn't make up the rules the Holy Ghost could have picked out anything he wanted to do right when he came into the earth to, for have the, to have the evidence but he didn't he put he picked you speaking as he gives you utterance why do you think that would be how's God do things who is God he's a speaking spirit how did God create the heavens and the earth by speaking words what is this world made out of his words that we walk and live in why would he do anything else it's pretty obvious this is what he should do when he created man in his image what did he do he breathed him in the breath of life and he became a living soul the words living soul means speaking spirit he was in God's image who was a speaking spirit God made man a speaking spirit so when the Holy Ghost comes into you you begin to speak as he gives you utterance you're a speaking spirit but now you're speaking his words you're serving him because he's a speaking spirit how are you going to serve God other than speaking his words wouldn't you call most preachers I guess uh, a servant of God yeah. what are they doing speaking his words how do we serve God the number one way even if you're witnessing to people what are you doing you're speaking God's word to them when they receive the Holy Ghost what are they gonna start doing speaking God's word we serve at the discretion of the Holy Ghost we serve at the discretion of the gift because the gift is the Holy Ghost you make me want to speak in tongues more good because you're not going to get to the perfect will of God until you pray it out by speaking his words his will his words does his will come without his words no his will will be manifest listen in your life his will will be manifest in your life to the degree and amount that you speak his words if you don't speak his words to that degree and amount then you're not going to be walking in his will to that degree or that amount Paul says I thank my God that I speak in tongues more than you all that looks like a pretty good you know endorsement of speaking in tongues uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 14 if I pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prays but my understanding is unfruitful verse 15 but what is it then I will pray with the spirit now we have a word called I will do you think that when on the day of Pentecost that they weren't willing to speak as the spirit gave them utterance that's where most people get tripped up on receiving the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues is their will blocks them yeah I will not say anything you have to will to speak because you're the one that does the speaking I will pray with the Spirit you're speaking as he gives you utterance are you getting this you, who are you serving when you do that I will to serve at the Spirit's discretion now how often is he gonna do that how often is he gonna prompt you to speak with other tongues is he prompting you right now uh-huh <laughs> yep what that's why you can speak anytime all the time 
this river of living water that comes out of your belly and you're speaking these words are not going to cease until you're in the perfect will of God now I have been at the place where I've prayed things through say prayed things through prayed things in through. other tongues to the place where I got to the end of that string of words and at the end of that string of words I knew what I was praying for was done I didn't have to pray about it anymore it was over what happened I got to the perfect will of God in that situation whether I was praying for somebody else was I praying for me have you ever been there where all of a sudden and eh, it stops I'm following this flow of the Spirit I'm enunciating these words I'm trying to match there's a verse of Scripture that says we're matching our word with the spiritual word that we're getting and all of a sudden that flow stopped most of the time it's not stopped most of the time it's going on why would that be because we're still serving at the discretion of the gift of the Spirit welcome to being a servant of God God who say I'm a servant of God well what is the number one way you're gonna serve God who is a speaking spirit by speaking his words what's the number one set of words that he gives to you speaking in other tongues so when I say things like oh you need to be praying a certain amount of time every day well, I don't want to do that so you don't want to serve God today are you starting to see this why would it be so important why would speaking in tongues be so important that the Holy Ghost would do it the first thing when he shows up why is that the evidence continued throughout the book of Acts showing us this because that's his method it's his choice it's his way when we just do what he wants us to do when we match up our will with his by speaking by willing to speak those words out then we can have his will done in the earth I'm gonna do his will without doing his will his way and then all the other gifts come in on that same vehicle you're saying I should pray in tongues more yeah that's right why would I though you should have a little better understanding of why I would say that because you're serving the gift you're serving at the discretion of the Holy Ghost it's part of your service to him in the earth he's got to have his words established in the earth we serve him by saying Psalms 35 27 let them shout for joy and be glad to favor my righteous cause yay let them say continually, continually. let them say say say, say. what is saying speaking. is speaking let them speak continually look at let the Lord be magnified who in our day would be who the Lord would be talking about the Holy Ghost let the Holy Ghost be magnified I'm speaking continually let the Holy Ghost be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant you get paid by this people he pays you for it what's he pay you for it in the perfect will of God the birds singing better we can be in the perfect will of God if we pray the perfect will of God let them say once on Sunday and maybe on Wednesday night no let them say continually continually how often is that all the time you know this verse of scripture says pray without ceasing what's without ceasing mean right all the time you well you didn't stop you know they began to speak they didn't stop why is that because this is the vehicle that not only all the other gifts of the Spirit come this is the vehicle that the plan purpose and perfect will of God comes on say plan, plan. Purpose. purpose perfect will, perfect will. Of, God. of God how are you gonna get there speaking and speaking in other tongues all right they say you can let them say continually let the Lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant the success the prosperity the perfect will of God right all the all things working together for you would that be called prosperity yeah my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all day long I'm telling you a trick and a key if you really want to have the perfect will of God in your life is to make sure 
say make sure. make sure that every morning just like the birds when they get up do they just decide one day that not to get up and tweet but every morning outside the window there they are tweedly tweedly tweet tweet tweedly tweet tweet and then all the other ones are doing the same thing they're all tweet tweet and then a certain amount of time and then they stop right. and do they keep tweeting for the rest of the day yeah but not the same way that's what I'm saying the trick is to and a key if you want to know is to pray a certain amount of time in the morning and then the rest of the day you know this all of a sudden you'll just be you'll be driving down the road you'll be doing the other things that you got to do you'll be sweeping the floor whatever is going on working your job answering the phone and you'll you'll notice that you keep saying more of these words you're tweeting some more but you're serving at his discretion you understand you have to will to serve them him and then you continue throughout the rest of the day are you getting this why because you're serving the gift you're serving the Holy Ghost by speaking and saying this is how you get paid do you want to get paid a lot of Christians don't want to get paid till they get to heaven they want to wait you know what the payday isn't gonna be as big as it could be if you also got paid now right. do you want to get paid I like getting paid right you get you get paid according to the service that you perform now we get the perfect will of God comes into our life by the vehicle of speaking in other tongues job chapter 36 and verse 11 if they obey and serve mm -hmm. him him who him who the Holy Ghost right we're talking about the Holy Ghost we're in the Holy Ghost dispensation he's God in the earth today he's the only part of the Godhead that's in the earth today who do we serve we serve the Holy Ghost we serve at the discretion of the Holy Ghost we serve the gift the gift is speaking in other tongues right mm -hmm. if they obey now what about the obey part mm -hmm. what if I don't will to speak with other tongues today then you're not obeying right what about the people who didn't wait for the gift of the hope for the Holy Ghost to come on the day of Pentecost but they went off and did their own thing were they obeying what Jesus told them to do no so if we obey and serve say serve, serve. how do we serve a God whose number one way of doing things is speaking well then our number one way is gonna be speaking what if he's continually giving you the utterance but you aren't continually speaking them so you're not serving him you need if they obey and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures if they don't if they obey not they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge are you seeing this your success you get paid by your obedience and service to the gift hello I'm telling you this that if you want to get paid you want to have the perfect will of God in your life and around you and what are you gonna have to do you're gonna have to serve the gift you're going to have to have Romans 8 26 coming into your life you get paid for and by this service and the more you do it the more you get paid the less you do it would be the less you get paid are you are you serious yes you want it some other way fine but it's not gonna be any other way you're not gonna change what the Spirit of God set up as his method in the earth first Corinthians chapter 2 Let's look at verse 12 now we have received say we have received we have who received. who would this be talking about this will be talking about people who have received this isn't talking about the people who have not received but now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God who would that be be the Holy Ghost that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God do you think that would be God's will for us to know and experience fully know the things that are given to us of God is that God's plan 
it would be kind of silly if it wasn't his plan we're talking about serving God to bring his plan to pass in the earth right we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God verse 13 which things what things the things that are freely given to us of God the things that God wants us to know right which things also we speak what if we don't speak them we don't get to know them if we do speak them we do get to know them those things that we're speaking are God's will it is through the vehicle of speaking them that we get to know them it's through the vehicle of speaking those things that we're serving God to bring his will to pass in our life not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches who's teaching you these words to speak what if you don't obey him and serve him by speaking those words those who obey and serve him spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures those who don't obey and serve him by speaking those words which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual the amplified Bible is really good here it means comparing the spiritual thing with the correct spiritual word this takes practice this takes effort this takes time right you don't get good at anything without putting time into it you'll get better at speaking in tongues you'll be, get better at serving the Lord serving the Lord was speaking in other tongues is serving the Holy Ghost is serving the gift because that's God's method God the Holy Ghost method of getting his will to come to pass number one in your life but number two in everybody else's life in the world around you in your family in your job say my job, my job. well if you aren't serving the Holy Ghost he's not going to be able to get those things to come to pass I've shown you many scriptures that show that we get paid by doing this and so the more you do it the more you get paid say the more, the more I, do this, I do this the more I get paid, the more I get paid. this is good news you're preaching the bad news no I'm preaching the good news the bad part is you have to do something the bad part is you have to be willing to serve and obey the Holy Ghost Amen. what's the number one thing that they did when they began to serve and obey the Holy Ghost they began to speak with other tongues Paul was obeying and serving the Holy Ghost he said I speak in tongues more than you all <laughs> tongues 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 all you do is talk about tongues it's not all I talk about but it's the predominant thing that the Holy Ghost has you do throughout the day continually why is that because he's continually bringing to pass his perfect will they're calling God's will on earth as it is in heaven remember Abraham called things that be not as though they were why so that they would be Amen. when you're calling things in the spirit it is so they be in the earth you're the vehicle to bring it forth I can't overemphasize the importance of speaking in other tongues on a daily basis and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose now you look up these words the called we kind of put a different emphasis on that but it re really means by calling so if you them that love God and those who call according to his purpose we know that all things work together for those who call say call call, call according to his purpose his purpose his will his plan how are you gonna call things into your life by speaking in other tongues according to his plan his purpose his will that would all be his words you're calling for those things to be in your life by his words by obeying him and by serving him are you getting this Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you walk with him and serve him say and serve him, and serve him. by speaking his words do you get that how's the number one way for you to serve God in your life which which pays you which gives you his benefits 
the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you walk with him and serve him you're serving his purpose you're calling according to his purpose by speaking speaking what speaking in other tongues speaking his words and to the degree that you do that to is the degree that the Holy Ghost will be able to manifest himself and his perfect will in your life Holy Ghost thank you for these people that came and listened today I ask you to anoint them and bless them and begin lifting them up in your plan and your purpose and everyone say this after me I commit, I commit to speaking, to speaking. God's, words God's words in other tongues more, more and more, and more. Day, day after day, day until his perfect, until his perfect will, will is, established is established in my life, in my life and, in and in the lives of everyone I touch, everyone I touch. In, Jesus name, in Jesus name amen, amen.